Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Guild Wars. Unfortunately, uh, I crashed and I lost my, as you can see, I haven't attacked them. I crashed and I didn't get my sword. I lost one sword, but we'll go again. We're gonna beat them this time. Okay, these were the teams I wanted to go in with. Yes, let's go in. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I haven't even looked what the other people uh, I haven't crashed in Guild Wars for months. Like I always refresh my app before I do uh, I do them. I did. I even restarted my phone before I did those, and I still crashed for some reason. It's kind of sad that my Kiana is faster than the Chloe. It either means that the runes suck or that Chloe is not on Swift. Okay, now the moment of truth. Will the Theo go for Julie? No, he will not, because Berna went for Tiana, and Tiana can take some punishment. Bye-bye, Theo. Okay. Usually when I see... My, my rationale before, before uh, for the previous theme is, if I see a Chloe and I don't see something that is... Like, if it's a retesh a Chloe and something else, then yeah, I'm not going to attack that with my Tiana team, because, you know... Uh, gonna have a bit of trouble killing it with Julie, right? But uh, if I don't see anything like that, then we, off we go. And I go crazy on it with uh, the Julie team. Ju my Julie has 91% crit, I think. And uh, so she's very reliable, especially against the fire. And then I can use Tiana to do away with the Chloe's and stuff. The second team is pretty normal as well. It's one of my, it used to be my, eight, one of my, uh, Guild Wars defenses as well. It consists of two healers. Uh, Clo uh, Chow heals himself and uh, Molly cleanses and heals everyone. Orion keeps giving attack boost. There's no attack buff. This is the one weakness of it. But other than that, it's a pretty safe comp, especially against anything that is not wind. Uh, okay, so for the other sword. Let's attack something that has. Some... Ah, see, the sec this, this is another example of. I would Julie that, because Katarina probably has very little HP. Theo, since it's my last sword, I don't care if something dies, and I should be able to kill the Chloe and proc the Endure on Theo with my combo. And then the rest is history. I think I will Lucian the second one for a faster clear. Though we can definitely use the previous one on this. I think Lucian is just, you know, faster. So why not, right? Hey. Head. Still a bit. Yeah, the Galleon lead is making uh, Tiana too fast for these guys. Okay, defense break on everyone. Bye bye, Chloe. Probably bye bye, Katarina as well. Yeah. See, six hits, even six glancing hits, which there's no way all six are gonna glance, so. Even if two don't glance and then the four others glance, that's over 16k damage. The Katarina is not gonna have that much. Let's see if we can uh, kill these guys. Yeah, no nemesis should be able to. And take 30k damage. Oops. Ooh, he survived. Not for long. And that was that. That was a quick, nice and quick Guild Wars. Let's also do the. Um, let's also do some arena, as we said we'll do every Guild Wars video. We're gonna do Arena as well. One, two, three, four, five. Let's throw six in to get 100. It's for good measure. Yeah, let's, uh, let's clear some wings in Guardian 2 Arena. Okay. Oh, this looks promising. The Lima is pretty fast. She, will, uh, she can uh, stun me. And there's no ADB booster, so unless he stuns Tiana, I don't care. So he derped, and yeah, your Lima, mate, whoever you are, your Lima needs more speed. It's unacceptable that a 221 speed Tiana is outspeeding your speed, your speed leader Lima. It's just unacceptable, complete. 
I, even if if you even had uh, if you have a level nine totem speed totem and a two hundred speed um, and a two hundred speed despair lima, you should have been able to outspeed me. That means you either either your totem is lacking, which is bad, or um, your lima is super slow. You need more speed. At least 200, at least. Since you're using a speed lead, it's a bit easier, but you definitely need at least 200 speed. I would, I, I would say that 230 or 220 is where you should be, but, you know, one thing at a time. So whoever you are, I hope you're watching this. And if that it might help you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Teshar got... Okay, they didn't hit Teshar. I hate it when Orion takes away will runes, but it actually doesn't happen that often, which is really nice. But mainly because of the shield runes, he very often takes takes away the shield runes, actually. Which helps. Really helps that he takes the shield and not the will. Oh, Chi wouldn't die. Of course he rocks. Die now? Uh, die now? Now let's use this. Plants a bit. Oh, they're all dead. Oh. They're, dead. they're dead now. Now oh, this Purna doesn't know what one turn one turn means. That was that. This guy needs better better tuning. I think. This Purna should have gone after the. Sperna really should have gone after the, the Orion buffed and his Theo as well. Oh no, he, the, Theo went, Perna didn't go. Yeah, Perna needs more speed, right? Perna definitely needs more speed. Oro is infamous, annoying as fuck. Uh, what did I usually do? Oh yeah, it's... That way Nemesis is completely counteracted and my pressure can just, <laughs> just kill everything. Because yeah, I give no fucks. This is how you counter Nemesis if you know it's there. You kill it with you have one strong nuker. The other way is to have your um, your stronger nuker go first. But I've tried that with Teshar. I actually accidentally made him faster than the rest of my team. And the than the Charlotte. And I try I left it like that to try it out. I didn't like the results a lot because often I will, I will, especially if there's fire stuff, I will kill something and then I'll, the second AoE is what clinches, clinches the, the victory. Uh, and for that to happen, I actually need my pressure to, you know, kill something. And if he goes first, if there's enough defense, you know, floating around, he's not going to kill something. Charlotte is going to be the, the clincher. And yeah, she does enough damage. To, I need Tesher to be to get killing blow. So yeah. That way of countering Nemesis is not really for me. So I'm stuck with having to find out where they are. They're there. And on some monsters you can assume they're a nemesis like Nebula. Eromos, I don't know why people would not put him on. There's a lot of non non nemesis Veromos is around. I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Even anything, any any other set on Veromos and PvP is just meh. <laughs> so yeah, even if you lose some speed, Nemesis makes up for it in the most part. And gradually with I'm sure with better necro farming and better uh, grindstones you're gonna be able to get the speed as you get with like hard or whatever. People like Teshar today. See another another miss 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 uh, timed. I like that he has Will or Perna. That's actually really good because even though he's misused, his Perna doesn't go after Orion. Uh, at least it's uh, um, the Perna is slightly safe, you know, because of the Will rings and Phil he actually goes. Still very weak to buff removal. And yeah, you always want your things to go after Orion. It's as fast as Orion is, if he if he's uh, 
stuff falls on death. Attack bars? Death. Uh, if he's a harmless prank, it doesn't work. And it's not... Well, for all of you that actually have Vela, it's not good to rely on Vela for the you know, Orion buffs and Vela buffs, and then my stuff goes, because Vela is notorious for not using Sanctuary at first turn. His AI is completely bad. Really, really bad. I, I have him... This is my weak defense. Weak, no, no weak with an A, like weak during the week. Um, I tried some others in rush hour. I didn't actually do rush hour this week. I only did like uh, uh, because of the daylight change thing, which is. But still, uh, yeah, this defense. See, I use Orion and Bella, but like, normally I wouldn't use them together. Like, I don't really like it because unless they buff both both of them, they buff the attack bars, it's highly probable that it's not going to work. Or, if you want to use them together, make sure that all of the monsters go off the Orion, which I assume will be the fastest one. So every, if everyone goes off the Orion, Bella doesn't have the buff. Right? Okay, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my stream later.